What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's Damien McLeod, aka the baddest man on the planet, aka the human juggernaut. Now, I'm going to show you guys a very disturbing video. Well, not video. This video is going to be disturbing in itself, but it's what I'm always talking about, what I'm always pushing against on this channel. It's part of my base platform. Now, we're going to talk about this kid right here. His name is Tristan Lee. His uh, Instagram is obviously, as you can see, Tristan Lee Official. Now, I'm just going to come right out and say, allegedly, allegedly, this kid has taken some sort of steroid, obviously, from, you know, no kid at this age, 15, I don't know how long he's been 15, did he just turn 15, or what, but in his bio, it clearly says 15 years old, all right? He's a YouTuber, he um, plays soccer, bodybuilding, you know active kid typical kid but not so typical due to the fact that obviously there aren't too many 15 year olds around with the physique with the muscularity like this if he's been training since he was 14 there's no way we have grown men with good genetics who are natural who don't get these type of results you get what i'm saying now he no I don't know this guy per se this kid per se how long he's been training but obviously this is a sign of some sort of steroid usage and I'm um, going to show you some pictures to prove my theory now it's alleged I'm not sure but I mean it's common sense so I'm just going to scroll through here as you can see the vascularity the muscle you know the muscle size the the bellies on the on his hamstrings look at his calf there's grown ass men out here who work out on YouTube, top YouTubers, who are fake natties, <laughs> who calves don't even look like this. Look at his quads. Come on now. Overly developed. Come on, for a 15 year old, let's just be honest here. I'm not going to sugarcoat it like some people do. You know, there's some guys out there, they, you know, they put their fluff videos out about this. I'm going to shoot you straight. I'm not an advocate for steroid usage, not even in grown men, let alone a kid. I mean, look at this video here. I mean, obviously, I might have to mute this. They play music, but, I mean, come on. It's not a heavy, crazy, heavy weight, but just, just look at this kid. That type of muscles, those type of muscles, you don't see those on a 15-year-old kid. I mean, he looks like a really small 15-year-old kid. If I didn't know he was 15, I'd say he was like 12. He looks really tiny. So for a person with that size, with that small of a physique to have this much muscle, come on. I mean, look at this. Could it be Photoshop? Hmm. Let me see. I'm looking now. I don't see too many distortions around this treadmill here or this bike here, this spin bike. You know, everything looks to be in order around. So I, I wouldn't say that it's uh, Photoshop. This is actual, you know, muscle gains. Not natural, not natural. At 15, there's no way. I mean, this is, come on, common sense. Go through a few more pics here. I mean, come on. This is way too much muscle to be 15 years old. See the thickness in the back there, in the tricep? There's grown men right now in the game who don't have that much development. So, I mean, this is, this is kind of crazy. Now, if he was like 22, you know, in his, in his 20s, then yeah, you would say, okay, a grown man, he's been lifting since he was 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. That's four years. You know what I'm saying? Or since he was 17, that'd be five years. But, no, I mean, come on now. If he's 15 now, no one, I don't know his birthday, just turned 15, there's no way. You're not making gains like that. I mean, come on. Let's look at this picture here. Now, you can clearly see these might be his older brothers. And I'm going to read some of these comments in here, too. But I'm just, you know, look. The guy on the right here. Look at that arm. That, that screams fake natty. Look at the guy on the left. He's a little smaller, but, I mean, you can see. Screams fake natty. You know, come on. It's just typical fake natty type of deal right here. Let's just keep it honest. Allegedly. Allegedly. I'll say that. All right? And then you got the little guy here. Come on. He looks more shredded than both these guys. Too much muscle to be 15 years old and to be natural. It's just, you don't see, like, this many 15-year-old kids with this much muscle out there. Now, if you've seen every other 15-year-old with muscle like this, then okay, then this would be something normal. 
It's not genetics. Come on, let's just be honest. This is not genetics at all. So let me read some of these comments here. This guy kind of already went over this comment here. He kind of wrote it kind of funny. So he says, dude, genetics do play a huge factor on how you look. Like some people gain muscle easily as fuck. Some don't. A guy on YouTube guy called Muscle Matrix juices, but <laughs> because of his genetics, he looks like he has a dad bod. Tristan has good muscle insertions and good genetics and overall vascularity. No matter how how fucking hard you train in your genetics are shit, you can't look like him without juicing. Yeah, clearly. You know, good muscle insertions mean you just have good muscle insertions. That doesn't mean you have crazy size. This kid has a lot of size to be 15 years old. Let's just keep it real. Um, let me read another comment here. Uh, even if you have bad genetics, you can still look good. And if you read, I did say genetics help you look good and gain faster. So, you know, you have some guys who are kind of oblivious. What does your dad look like? Uh, I don't know what that says. Uh, let's scroll down. This guy here says, clearly, I call it juice. Yeah, let's just call it what it is. Let's keep it 100, people. Of course, it is a lot of work and maybe something else, but obviously not genetics because you don't even have good genetics. Okay. Um, genetics are a factor in the way you look. You are right. Don't listen to douchebags. So, you know, it, you got people, some people believe this is naturally attained. Come on, let's read this comment here. It says, damn, what's with the haters? Jealous and insecure people who want to judge what they don't even know. This kid works his ass off in the gym. Keep it up, work hard, Tristan. And you've got some serious ass genetics. So, you know, clearly, you know, people believe in this whole genetics thing. This whole theory on genetics, you know, they give it more cred than, you know, you should. Like I said. There aren't too many, there aren't any 15 year old kids naturally walking around like that. I'm not going to say there aren't too many. There aren't any. I haven't seen any. When I was in high school, I didn't see any 15 year old kids. Or junior high, was it junior high 15? Whatever grade he's in. Any 15 year olds. When I was 15, all the other 15 year olds around me, none of them look like this. So, I mean, common sense. How many of you guys watching this video know any 15 year old kids at your school who look like this guy here? It's awesome that he's into, you know, sports and everything. Not going to bash the kid. But clearly he has brothers who are on something. Those guys might have been his older brother. And clearly they say, you know what? Let's let our little brother dabble in the juice. So, I mean, it's clear. Allegedly, like I said, I don't know for sure. But, you know, just to say that to cover myself. But let's just say common sense. People, you know. Uh, it's Come on. It's obvious. There's something else going on here. Alter some other alternative fuel source going on with this kid. But yeah, you know, look at this. Come on, man. Come on. Let's be real. This kid shredded. That's not natural. It's not natural. But yeah, you know, that's what the world's turning into right now. You know, you got everyone dabbling in these things from uh, young kids to old ladies in their senior years. I've seen old senior ladies coming out of retirement, <laughs> coming out of the retirement home, you know what I'm saying, getting on some roids, competing in bodybuilding and, you know, physique competitions, whatever, this, that, and the third. So, you know, if you like the video, go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, make sure you share the video, make sure you spam the video all over the internet, get my videos viral in the matrix, um, help me get some growth on the channel, please subscribe, thank you very fucking much. So... Yeah, people, like I say, stay natural. It's not worth it, man. This kid, you know, he's going to get a lot of oohs and ahs and likes and thumbs up, this, that, and the third. But eventually, the it's going to catch up to him. And seeing that he's starting at such a young age, there's no way. You see grown men, like, you know, rest in peace to Dallas McCarver. You know what I'm saying? The dude was a beast. He gets the best of us. You know what I'm saying? So... I don't see a bright future other than this kid, you know, becoming popular on social media. But at the end of the day, hopefully this kid, you know, gets off this stuff, leaves this stuff alone and just goes full natty. And, you know, I hate to see people end up dead because that's the end result. Rich Piano is gone. It's 2018. You know what I'm saying? There's going to be a lot of stuff you're going to see in 2018. A lot of this stuff right here. This right here is going to push a lot of people to want to do this type of stuff. So hopefully you guys, you know, stay strong. Leave it alone. 
be natural, eat good whole foods, work out, train, sleep, drink lots of water. Just do the right thing. So with all that said, get to the gym, do work, and muscle up. My adversaries cry like hoes, fully eradicate my foes, my lyrics.